Good morning friends. Oh. Yeah. Do you want to come too? Today is Saturday. It's the day, the day after we had our anatomy scan for baby boy. And baby boy. Baby boy. Baby boy. And if you saw my last update, you know that it's been a little bit rough. And uh, you're so heavy, I can't have you resting on my belly. <laughs> Um, but I had a good night's sleep. I think I was just so mentally exhausted um, from yesterday, from everything that happened, that I actually could sleep. And when she woke up, ate something, I think. You slept in today, that was good. I should put the kitty come in. Come in, kitty come in. Okay, but déjame. Um, so I actually felt more or less rested when she woke me up this morning, so that was good. And uh, I don't know, I was watching um, It's clean. If you don't let me finish, I cannot do this with you. Um, I was watching one of my favorite bloggers here on YouTube. I always feel happy watching her vlogs and I'm trying to do everything that makes me happy. So shout out to It's Me Cassidy. I have been missing your vlogs, girlfriend. <laughs> And uh, her son Bryson is now six months old. And I remember her going through something similar with him having dilated kidneys or something like that. So I need to go back and watch her old pregnancy <laughs> updates to see what she have to say because I don't remember. Um, but today I want to do things that make me feel good. And I think that we are gonna take, or I'm gonna take Natalie down to the I know, to the pool. You wanted to go to the pool, right? We're gonna go down to the pool for a little bit and then when we come back I think we're gonna do some baking and then uh, I want to put together a little basket that I have um, collected things for. My friend is currently pregnant with twins and... Oh wow, are you gonna... Whoa! Play with all of your toys. That's great. <laughs> Um, she's giving birth to twins any day now and okay. Okay. Um, yes, and I wanted to bring her like a, a self-care package to take to the hospital So I'm gonna be putting together that basket for her and I thought I would have you guys with me while I do that and yeah, We're gonna try and stay positive and we're gonna try and Have a faith that everything is gonna turn out fine but yes, if you haven't seen my pregnancy update, I recommend you to go watch it because it explains all of the yeah, abnormalities that they found during the ultrasound yesterday. So, go watch that if you haven't and I will see you guys very soon. It was looking like to be a cloudy day, but now the sun is coming out. But I went for this one-piece bathing suit. It's not maternity. So I really had to squeeze in <laughs> the bump. But I think I can get away with it and I'm just putting this uh, cover up to not feel so naked by the pool. But we're going to the pool now finally and after we're gonna do some baking and then I'm gonna do the care package with you guys. So stay tuned. Show me how you're jumping. Wow! Hello, huh? Hello, okay. Is one face? No, what is in that? You have a fish? Can I see your fish? Oh my goodness. What color is your fish? It's blue. It's blue. <laughs> Can I see your jump? Yeah. Wow. Oi! <laughs> Can you jump? Let's see. One, two. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. No, okay. Okay. 
Okej, kan du jumpa igen? Vet du vad, vi ska hälla in mjölken här. Nej, nej. Men, du får vänta lite för den här måste smälta först, ser du? Men. Nej, jag vill hälla i. Nej, du ska hälla här. Och jag kan. Men inte nu. Nej, nej, nej. What are we making? Cinnamon buns. Can you see that? Cinnamon buns. Cinnamon buns. Yes, this one. We are gonna make these ones. Thank you. Thank you. You can give me this. This. Can you break it inside? I think, yeah. Las dos. ¿Cómo se hace con las dos? Kan du få en liten mjölken här, Louis? Försiktig. Nej, jag gör inte. Inte spilla. Nej, nej, nej. Very good. Försiktig. Thank you. Alltså, det var en accident. Det var så nära. Wow, looks so good. Good job. No, now we have to make them. I guess I'll have to try anyway. Try to let her go. Was tasty? You like it? Oh, so tasty. Can you say that because you said it earlier? You like it? It's tasty? You say it is so cute when you say that. Dime. It's tasty. It's tasty. Nom 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 nom. It started raining, you guys. We haven't had a rainstorm in a really long time. Natalie and I was just here watching the rain and listening to the thunder. And it's actually one of my favorite things to do here. <laughs> now I realize that everything, you can see all my things hanging everywhere that's why I never come to film on the balcony because we have like stuff everywhere and it's just so not pretty are you gonna you want to oh, you want to take your raincoat but now it's thunder as well so I don't think we should go out imagine if the lightning strikes us twice I feel like twice because maybe later you want to go out with your umbrella yeah, Me. maybe in a little moment we can do that. Me, no. When you were little, you and mommy used to sit here on the balcony and watch the rain sometimes. Yeah. Yes, do you remember? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell them, do you like the rain? I like the rain. You like the rain, because it doesn't happen very often here. Or when it does, it's so, so... Um, how do you say it? <laughs> so, so... Uh, <laughs> are you waving to the neighbor? It's it's when it rains it really pours here. Men in the more forest clean. There is a man swimming in the pool and Natalie thought it was her grandpa. It's not your grandpa, it's the Bestino. No. Typist. I still haven't But you cannot sit in the window. But you see. No, because you can fall. No, I'm holding. I don't mind, I don't want you to to sit in the window. Why not? Because it's dangerous. That is in the in the at the at the beach. No, so. no, 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 no. You know what? I'm gonna get angry with you. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> Do you want to go inside? Hey, <laughs> Knippies.
All right, friends, the time has come. I'm finally gonna do the basket for my friend. It's actually a couple of days later. It's now Monday morning. I wasn't able to record much after the thunderstorm and the rain because all the light lighting went away and it became very dark, so I couldn't film for you. But now I'm getting ready to put everything in her basket because she has informed me that she is in fact with contractions and we don't know if they are real ones we don't know if she are in or if she's in early labor or if she's just having her Braxton Hicks as always so I really want to get this done so I can deliver this to her so if in fact she's going to the hospital today or tomorrow I want her to have this care package to take with her so first thing I did was I picked up this really really adorable basket and my idea is that she can use this for whatever thing she want after and um, she could have this for example in her bathroom to put some of her things inside or I don't know a decor piece or something I just thought the basket was really really cute and I would not mind to have this out on display so I hope she like it too so what I want to put inside is a few essentials really so I'm gonna be putting this water bottle that I picked out this has a built-in straw that you can close and access very easily so when you're in the hospital giving birth or having your labor you get you can stay hydrated really easily it's very important and you don't have to fuss with a cup or extra straws or that kind of thing and this is machine washable bpa free and i just thought it was really really handy to have so that's for her and i also have like for when <laughs> when you are in labor many people say that you get really really chapped lips and dry lips because of all the heavy breathing and the aircon in the hospital and that kind of thing so I wanted to include a little lip balm this is just one I had and um, not opened obviously this is completely new and this has SPF inside and I really like it this has a smell of eucalyptus I believe or mint in some kind I and mean, I, I think it's very refreshing and I think that she will enjoy this so that's for her and for when she's over and done with I have a few essentials that I want her to be able to enjoy when she is relaxing in the hospital but I also included a couple of snacks for when she be in labor or after birth you need to stay on top of your calories and she is a vegetarian so I wanted to think about that when I included my snacks and I thought this be kind bars um, I have seen is very popular on online right now and these are just the peanut butter dark chocolate ones and these are the jar dark chocolate nuts and sea salt and I'm thinking if she needs some energy while the uh, while she's in lab labor or just after giving birth this will be very handy and of course you cannot go wrong with some sweets and these are very convenient to bring I think and this is more thinking about her husband if he's gonna be there helping her coach her through her labor and delivery he, also the husband breeds heavily and a lot and something very annoying when you're in labor or trying to push a child out is if your husband is very near to your face and he has a bad breath so I wanted to include this for him or for her and I thought it would make her laugh a little bit so that's for them to share. I also wanted to include uh, something for aftercare. So I did pick out this little travel size dry shampoo. I know I would have enjoyed to have that with me. I also included this cute little hand cream with the scent of lemon and verbena. I don't know what that smells like, but I think it's going to be very, very fresh kind of scent. And I thought it was just so cute with owls. A little travel size as well now with covid and we are always putting like this like the gels on our hands we get so dry hands i really wanted to include a little hand cream as well for her and in the hospital you don't really want to walk around with just socks so i wanted to include this really cute new slip on how do you say indoor shoes for her and who doesn't love a new pair of slippers? I mean, these furry slippers, they are just so comfortable. And I 
own a pair of these myself and usually I get a new pair every year and I love them and they are memory foam and very very comfortable I also picked out this eye mask I have no idea if she's gonna use this or not but I thought if you have to be for a long time in the hospital and if you have trouble sleeping and that kind of thing because of all the lights and the noise and people walking in and out of your room I thought this could be handy to have so I picked out this little eye mask for her as well and um, yes a few more creams these are just heat lotion that I thought her husband could use on her if he needs to massage her or something while in labor I'm not sure how um, she would probably have to ask her doctor but I think she's allowed to use this this is all natural and um, Anyway, or for aftercare, that's up to her. But a nice massage with these, if you have sore muscles, will be very, very comfortable. I also wanted to include these face wipes if she has like makeup residue that she wants to clean off or if she just feels like she wants to refresh fast while in bed and she can't move or whatever I wanted to include one of these. I'm gonna break them up and save one for my hospital bag as well. So she will be getting one of these and finally she's getting a face mask for her aftercare. I just picked out this cucumber facial, um, how do you say, sheet mask that is soothing and refreshing and I hope that she can get some relief and use out of this one. And lastly I picked out one of my favorite candles. This is a scented candles, a candle, it's spiced amber, it's a very fall esque scent it smells really delicious and i really want to have one myself but yes i'm including this so she can get the ambiance that she wants in the room or to just have at home and i thought it was really cute as well so i wanted to include that i'm gonna show you what everything looks like when i have put it in my basket but that's all i'm putting in her aftercare labor and delivery basket and uh, I think that there are like one million more things that you can put in here, but I think that she is quite prepared. So this is more for pampering and for her to feel a little spoiled. So I hope she enjoys them and I'm thinking to pick up a few more of these for my own hospital bag. And yeah, I hope you en enjoyed today's video. I hope that you liked my ideas, but let me put everything in the basket and I will show you the final result. So this is the basket for her. I think that she's gonna really enjoy it. I was able to put everything inside. That made me very happy. <laughs> now I'm gonna go deliver it to her. Ah, oh, my God. I think I'm gonna start to end the vlog here. But before I do, I'm just like dying <laughs> from contractions, <laughs> actually. Um, my midwife just called me 45 minutes ago. And uh, she was um, asking me things regarding the ultrasound that I had. And she, unfortunately, she could not give me any answers. They're going to call me tomorrow, like I have mentioned everywhere now, uh, with more information regarding further testing and all of that to see how baby boy is doing. But I was asking her about my contractions because I have like two to three episodes a day with uh, like a series of contractions. They're not very painful, but some of them are more painful than others. And she told me that as long as they are not um, more close together than 10 minutes apart and continue for more than one hour, then they are not con considered being regular. So she said the, to time them and to go oh, directly to the emergency room for monitor, like to get monitored if they are closer apart and if they continue for more than one hour. And now I'm like over it. I have been tracking my contractions now for the past like 45 minutes and they are like the average I don't know. Uh, they are about two minutes long each contraction <clears throat> and they are like every, everything from two minutes apart to four minutes apart to seven minutes apart but no none of them have been like wow good um I like your shoes <laughs> the the one the Why one of them Why? huh Why are you sweating? 
What am, what am I doing? We're sitting. Why I'm sitting? Because mommy's tired. One of them are like seven minutes apart, but... but we're looking so fun. We're just looking so fun. Bush. Anyway, this is like normal. This is what I'm dealing with. And one of the contractions were like five minutes long. And I'm like, no, I'm not gonna time this anymore because I know that he's not coming. I know that there is not much I can do really. I need to to rest only and I'm drinking a lot of water I'm sitting down but this is like what I have to deal with every day <laughs> it might sound dramatic uh, but I'm getting used to it by now my box that I did for my friend or my my care package that I put together I haven't been able to give to her because I think that she's actually in in labor and uh, she's not answering my messages and I don't want to disturb her if I don't have to no I'm having one <laughs> um, but in in the in the case that they are going to the hospital I'm the one who's taking care of their daughter so then I will be able to give them the basket for them to take to the hospital so I have it ready it's very easy to grab and that's gonna be all for this vlog i think it's been i've been trying to have like a feel good kind of vlog i have been trying to do all the things that brings me joy and i'm just trying to stay positive until tomorrow tomorrow they are calling us with with more information so i'm trying to not uh, stress myself out too much um, <sighs> Just try and stay positive. I'm the first to say that negative stress will affect your body. So if I can reduce my negative stress as much as possible, I know that baby boy is going to be more healthy in the end also. So that's what I'm doing. Thank you for all your prayers and thank you for every to everyone who has reached out to me. And I just love you so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. I believe my next video will be my 21 week pregnancy update. Tomorrow, no, the day after tomorrow, I'm turning 21 weeks pregnant. So after that, I will film and you will have that update. So in that video, you will also get all the information that I got from the doctors when they called me. So it works out quite well. And that's all for now. Have a wonderful start to your week and I will see you guys very soon. Much love. Bye.